Hey guys, so uh, check this out. This is called the future of erotic fantasy art. And what's awesome about this is, I'll show you some of the pictures in here, is that it's erotic art, but it's fantasy art, and it's kind of like mixed together. As you can see like from the, from the cover, that it really does have a lot more. This is the second book of, there was, there was another erotic art book, and this is the second book that came out about erotic art. And you know what? These are the only two books on a compilation of erotic art that they actually have, erotic fantasy art that they actually have. So um, what you have, okay. So what you have here, and I'll show you some of these, is, it's so cool. I mean, you've got like pretty cool art like that. And, uh, and then you can just like flip it and it's got all kinds of cool art. It's got like, so basically what it is is if you like art and you like fantasy, this is like a sexy version of it. And I think this is better than regular erotic art because it involves like, it includes imagination. I mean, we've all seen erotic art and it's cool, but this blends it, it makes it art, it makes it fantasy, and it just blends a lot of genres. People are inspired by like other kinds of like uh, fantasy or sci-fi that they've seen. Uh, as you can see like, you know, you could see basically it just tells a whole story. It's like a whole character there. Just so much interesting, more interesting than just like regular erotic art. You could see like, it's just much, much more imaginative. There's a lot of like imagination that goes into it, and but it's really beautiful and well done, you know, and yeah. So this is really really cool because it really is better, and this is actually uh, it's got regular artists in here who are just like make art, and it's got really um, good well known artists also in this book. Um, there's not a lot of these kinds of books there, compilations of just erotic fantasy art, um, but. Check out some of the imagination that goes into this. It's like, it's, it's, it's sexy, but it also blends. Like, here's a half woman, like, half, like, she's not like a mermaid, but she looks like, a, like she's like more of like an octopus. You know, this is awesome. If you guys draw, try, uh, and, and you haven't drawn anything like this, try, like, putting together, like, a figure with maybe your favorite animal, or, like, if you're, you know, if you dig that, like, or, or like, a, a robot, or like, some kind of like, imaginary thing, so that it kind of, it kind of, it kind of makes it sexy, it kind of like, changes whatever it is, I mean, a car, a robot's not really sexy, it's just a robot, but then a robot girl, that's, to, that's totally different, right, you've all seen one of those, so, uh, and as you can see, I mean, this really does, it broadens the imagination. A lot of fantasy art, or like just regular art, I find, is it's just, yeah, it might be cool, or, or I mean, it's like, it might be like cool or whatever it is, but you can't, this is like putting it to an aesthetic. I mean, this is not just making like a cool piece of some kind of like science fiction or fantasy inspired art. Um, you also have to make it aesthetically good and like in a, on a sexy level and like so you need your figure drawing in it and you need um, to know how to draw uh, the body and you need to know like you know how to, how to kind of like blend that it, it just brings it up to the next level a next level of difficulty actually these, these are really hard to do you know you can't just like start like just just like doodle and come up with one of these. This takes a lot of practice, and this, uh, it goes a long way. Like, check this out. And this is just like even sexy. It's just such a beautiful kind of thing. Wow. And they do have like couples art, so it's not just like erotic. It's also like couples and sort of like romantic and stuff like that. And there's different chapters. Wow. Check out that one. Yeah. Yeah, these are really, really cool. It comes in different, um, there's different uh, chapters, and these chapters kind of classify by like certain things. Uh, but, like, 
some of these are just awesome, like Girl with a Snake. I mean, you're not going to find like Girl with a Snake, you know, in any other genre of art. You're not going to find, you might find a snake, but you're not going to find a girl kissing a snake. And you're not going to find it in like, in just erotic art. And you're not going to find it in just like art of snakes. And what's cool is if you like snakes and erotic art, then you, you had it. You, you found it, you know. But I love the color in this one. And what's really cool about, look at the green. Oh my god. They blend, it's basically green, blue, and um, pink. But, damn, it's like mixing green, blue, and pink, and then making it sexy, and then creating a monster, look, look, check this out. And then creating like some kind of like monster-like animal, but making the picture sexy, even with the monster or, or the animal. And then like, not even having any like, not even making it look like skin or making the environment look like a regular environment. This is like of just an abstract environment that you can only see like the, like green rocks or something on the bottom. It's just completely imaginary. I mean, a lot of this is just from imagination. What's cool is like you're, what you're gonna get, like when, when you get, what you get out of like what people draw from imagination is that um, you're going to get something that not only like they imagined, but they also think is beautiful and they want you to see. Uh, a lot of people, uh, basically, they have this idea in mind and then they try to paint it and it's very, very hard to do. Uh, but it's possible. You can do it. Let me see what else is there. Like... Um, so, and a lot of these, th these paintings go not, with not just like oil paint or acrylic. These are also like, that one was um, Corel Painter, which is, and Photoshop, which is digital. Um, I love what you can do with digital. You know, I love really what you can do with digital. Check this one out. Uh, digital is just, what I love about digital is you can just like do anything with it. You, I mean, it, it just... Paint, I don't know. Paint, you have to be really good at it. Digital, you can... Oh, man, check this one out. This is really cool. Digital, I just like the results of it. I mean, I've seen other digital arts, and they're really, really good. It kind of traverses traverses paint, and you can do kind of like... You can do the same thing you can do with, with paint, but you can actually do more with it, and you can um, experiment a lot more, so you can change and find a better alternative so that you're not kind of like stuck to whatever you just drew because it's too difficult to actually change it or like you really can't change it because you already painted it. Uh, with Photoshop, with, with like digital art, you can just change it. I mean, you can just keep, you can just do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's, it's, and then you get the results that are more accurately kind of what you had in mind, which is like the whole point is, is in making your imagination into an illustration or a painting or something like that. I love this one. That one's just like, come on. It's just so cool. So yeah, man. So check these out. Check out the future of erotic fantasy art. <laughs> um, and let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you have this book or if you're going to get this book or if you just like want to comment anything, let me know what you think of the video and if you have this book or whatever or like something similar to this or what, what do you think of erotic fantasy art. And, uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments so that I can definitely, like, talk more about this with you. Jeez, so cool. All right. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, all right. Please, like, subscribe to my channel and like my video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.